This is your girl, Yannick Taylor, a.k.a. Priestess, hostess of Conversations with the Priestess. Here's a preview of what you may hear on Conversations with the Priestess. We weren't meant for monogamy, let's be honest. Like, we have needs, let's be real. And communicating that, what you want, what you don't want, what sets up... Now, this drink is brown, because I learned something. Since I'm older, I can't do brown liquor anymore. Also, I noticed since I started on hormone replacement there, HRT, in 2015, me and certain liquors don't mix, don't mix well. I don't know whether... And I recognize that a lot of men love to be dominated by women. And that's because men are seen as these leaders, as this big alpha male dominant thing, dominant being. And because they're put on this pedestal of being leaders, sometimes they want to be submissive. Back when I cosplayed a butch queen in South Carolina around 2011, I was on Craigslist. This is when Craigslist was bumping and before they had gotten rid of the personal section. I hope you enjoyed that preview. Join me on Wednesdays at 9 p.m. for Priestess After Dark. Full video versions of the podcast can be found on patreon.com forward slash CWT Priestess. And join me on Fridays at noon for our regular Friday post. Live, love, and be free. Smooches. Available on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, anywhere you download and stream podcasts. What's up, Oreo Priestess? Trigger warning. This episode is going to discuss some racially sensitive subjects. So please brace yourself. Please like and subscribe um, to this. Um, Also share and comment. If you want the full video, it will be behind a paywall. (laughs) Got to pay the bills. But um, since this is a sensitive topic, the full video will be available on my um, OnlyFans at Yannick Taylor. So hit the show notes for the links. Let's go ahead and hit the intro. Race play. This is an area of BDSM that is controversial. What exactly is race play? Race play is a form of role play in which those participating engage in racially sensitive scenarios. This includes calling people racial slurs, slavery depictions, Fetitization, you name it, it's in there. And just this week on Twitter, people were discussing the water sports area of BDSM. And I responded with, Y'all want to down people who likes, you know, getting it from the tap. But rate, but y'all don't say anything about race play and water sports is where you draw the line. Like, really. And I frown upon race play because number one, I as a black woman, a black trans woman living in America, I don't want to role play my lived experience every fucking day. My first experience with race play happened unconsensually. I was working as a PSO, phone actress, and I get a call and the man says, yeah, can I have your racial slur? You know what? And I immediately hung up the call and reported the profile. Because I'm like, number one, I don't do race play. And I've had to put that on several of my PSO profiles because some people will just assume that because you're black, you want to be called that. No, honey, no. And I am judging you. If you are a person of color and you participate in race play, because why are you acting out that trauma? There are some traumas that you need to talk to people professionally about instead of acting that out. 
I don't believe in kink shaming, but I'm going to kink shame this one. I have unfollowed some creators that I absolutely love because they engage in race play. And we have to understand that the articulation of race play, the act of race play, is very well steeped in white supremacy. It's very well steeped in a patriarchal culture. And that's not something that I can contend with. I really can't contend with participating that. Also, when I look at the interracial porns where it's a group of black men that's topping a white girl or a white man or whomever, and I'm like, this is playing into the Mandingo stereotype. Y'all know what I'm talking about, where it's the big black man and, oh, he's the bee's knees. I want that big black piece of meat. And even when I see my black content creators, that's all they do is get gang banged by non-black people and allow the disrespect. I'm frowning at that because you're playing into these different stereotypes. And then let's talk about the women. We understand that during slavery and colonial colonization, that, <clears throat> of course, that's where the Mandingo stereotype comes from, but also the sapphire complex where black women are seen as um, overly aggressive, overbearing, and that, you know, we're the nagging type and we just run everything. And we see this, t we still see black women being treated like that to this day. I think about how little black girls are treated. Yes, I see how little black girls are treated. And even queer kids, we are treated under the, actually the sephiric um, stereotype, but no one wants to talk about that. And this is why I really, do not like race play. And we see race play, it don't have to always be with the slurs, but it's just the insinuation that they're fetishizing this particular person because they are black. And that is the area of sex and sexuality and kink and BDSM that we are working hard to change. Now, With, with race play, I, it's not only just with the slurs and then acting it out, but there's an element of race play even in dealing with white individuals that are interested in what you do. I recently had a, a gentleman enter in my inbox saying, oh my gosh, you're so beautiful. You're a black goddess. I kind of already knew where this was going. He's like, oh my gosh, I love you so much. I love black dick. I love black trans women. And that was all the messages were. And that was so uncomfortable for me that I just stopped responding. I'm like, number one, I know you are, you know, easing your um, hormones while you talk to me, number one. Number two, if all you can see is my blackness and not see my humanity, I can't engage with you. Now, if you're going to fetishize me, at least fucking pay me to fetishize me. Then we can discuss. But regardless, I'm going to set hard boundaries. Like, you can just call me goddess. You don't have to have, always have to say black. You don't always have to say I love you. Have a regular fucking conversation with me. And I realized how the sephiric type affects me as a black trans woman because immediately it's automatically assumed that I'm a dom. While I am a sensual dom, I am also submissive. I'm a switch. There's more to me than the dominant aggressive personality. And sometimes, and I recognize that the sapphire type and the Mandingo type both affect me because I am a woman who happens to have male parts. And, of course, they look at me like the Mandingo, sapphiric type, and I'm going to dominate them. And it's, it's nothing more agitating than having, 
an unseasoned heathen in your inbox acting entitled to your time because they are white. Again, this is why I don't like race play because it really goes into an area of white entitlement as well. And I'm just going to end it right here. Baby, if you're going to en en engage in race play, baby, please go get some help. Please go do something. Go, go do that trauma because race play, baby, you're just playing into the things that they say about us as black people. And that is giving context that you like being oppressed, that you like what the system of oppression is doing to you. I'm done. Let love and be free. Smooches.